Certain moments don't slip from my memory. Only a few years ago, some students attended a basketball game with me downtown. They were black. As we walked back to campus through downtown Lexington in the dark of night, we heard a racist slur shouted from one of the cars streaming past us. We know who the targets were. I just happened to be there, unseen in the dark. It was unmistakable what was said. Our students heard it. I am sure of that. They didn't react. We just kept moving. A strategy many people who are racially targeted learn to use early in life. Despite the hurt and harm, they maintain restraint out of strong character and perhaps for their physical safety as well. Our student employee working in a residence hall recently was utterly poised, professional, and restrained. And I believe in that moment, it was the right response. As a young black woman, she chose to act courageously in so many ways. We likely would not even know about it had it not been captured and shared on video. As raw and real as that video was, I can't imagine what it is like to have someone attempt to debase and denigrate your very presence because of the color of your skin, to fear for your safety while someone spews violent, racist hatred. But so many valuable members of our community were not surprised because they can easily recollect those fears and recurring moments in their current lives. That's what happened to our student. Our student. That is what racist acts ultimately attempt to do. They seek to dehumanize, to make less than human one person or a group of people. Yes, we have done work in the last couple of years to move closer to being a community of belonging for everyone. But there is more to do. There will always be more to do. We need to communicate better about the steps we have taken. We also need to continually redouble our efforts and our vigilance to support our students and employees of color by fostering inclusion for all members of our community. To read about the actions underway or take part in our collective work, you can view my full campus message on UK Now. We are working on several important, tangible steps, many underway for some time, and others we still need to think through as we listen and learn. They include steps such as a dedicated central space to celebrate diversity and inclusion, particularly for our students. I also want to re-engage our campus in talking and listening making new meaning together to further focus our efforts and next steps. I know this is a community filled with people who want to do the right things for the right reasons, to serve, teach, discover, and heal. We are entering a season and holiday for thanks but it is also a season of reflection. In this moment, I reflect on our university's creed, which speaks to the need for everyone to be treated with dignity and respect. When members of the community don't meet that expectation, when they don't match our values, we must be willing to bear witness, call it out, repair the harm, and right the wrong. In my faith, there is a saying, tikkun olam, which is often translated as to repair the world. 
To me, this idea is really universal, shared by many faiths and those who find their own way and through their own beliefs to work for a more just society. We must do what we can with the time we have to make the world a better place, to mend its brokenness where we can. This is what taking personal responsibility and enacting community accountability looks like. There is another admonition, though, that is too often forgotten. It says that you are not required to finish your work, yet neither are you permitted to desist from it. It means that our work to repair the world, to make it better, is never done. This is the long game. UK must be prepared to stay the course. We may never finish the job of being the community we aspire to be for everyone. But we must never shy away from taking the journey together toward becoming that place. We must hold each other accountable, starting with me, to take these steps together. I am asking our entire campus to recommit to that journey. Thank you.